Hi, so in this video I'd like to show you how you can create your DLL file for C Sharp. The DLL is created in C++ and it's kind of different from from the tutorial I've presented already because uh, this DLL file actually offers only a function not a class okay but uh, I'll show you how this actually works so here I have my uh, C++ studio and I'm going to create a simple simple class uh, which will have a method that returns some of uh, two variables okay so let me just create a um create this uh this project uh okay so let's call this file say header and we want to add body and some main file okay so in the main file we just typically type uh, void main and the angle brackets uh, include header dot h in the header file we'll have pragma ones this is standard uh, standard things that you always type in any file like that and let's create a class class say my class and here we define the constructor my class and we will be passing to arguments say variable variable x and variable y okay here in the body we'll have include header dot age and before pragma once okay and here we define what the constructor is supposed to do say my class and it will store x equals var x y equals variable y and we will store store it as two variables over here private double x double y okay then we want to define in the public public area a uh, method called some x y and it will return double and let's define some x y just like this I don't know why okay
and here we're gonna have return x plus y Okay, let's compile it. Seems to be fine. Let's test it. Say my class hmm, sum to class say ten and five and double result will be equal to sum to class sum is y just like that works that's fine and well actually now we want to um, use this class and its method in uh, C sharp using a DL file okay so how to do it well the first thing is um, to create uh, something like a special purpose vehicle uh, it will be new project I'll open new Visual Studio okay new project and it must be win32 project okay and let's call it cpp class dll and it must be created as dll and select empty project okay so here we have this thing and uh, okay here we have a new project and uh, we only add something to the source file new item cpp file say main and here we need to include uh, the files from the previous project, the core files, which are in my case stored over here. Header.h and uh, body.cpp. At least I hope. Yeah, it's over here, body and header and to the addition here we need to type several keywords okay so because this is a this is a special special project that somehow delivers the function created in C++ into C sharp uh, we must use the following code extern C declare spec dll export and now the the type it will be double because the function returns double and the name of the function let's let's call it i don't know sum 2 okay and the argument that we will be passing will be double or x double or y okay and what is supposed to be here is initiate initiation of the class created in this piece of code in here so you firstly need to initiate uh, 
what's it called? My class. My class MC R X R Y and here we're gonna type return MC some X Y. Okay, so this should be complete. Basically, what's what's the important point is that you type here this statement. It says, mm, well, prepare somehow this function to be exported uh, from C++. Okay, let's compile it. Seems to be working. Okay. And uh, now we need to somehow implement mm, this function into C sharp. So go to C sharp. This is my C sharp studio. We actually don't need this now. Either this. Okay. And uh, the only thing you have to do here is um, to type here using system runtime interrupt services this is mm, some extension that allows you to import uh, the LL and here you're gonna type the LL import now the path. I don't know what's the path of the DLL. Let me just investigate the code. Okay, so the path is like that. And then we add this file. Notice that this is strange, but you have to use double Backslash and uh, this file. Okay, so here we are linking uh, this C sharp program to uh, the DLL, and just below that, please add public static. Turn double a name of the function, it was some two and the two parameters. Uh, double or x double or y, and that's all. And let's see how this works. So, say or x is I don't know five double r y is thirty and now we call the DL so we call double result equals to some two or x and R Y. And let's see what it does. So this is stored in memory now. Ah, uh, there is some kind of error. I know why. Um, uh, because C sharp is tricky. You need to set up a. Uh, 32 bit version of the project okay so it's somewhere somewhere in the properties I don't know where let me figure it out and I'll uh, continue a little bit later okay got it so the thing is you gotta go here and uh, you need to change any CPU to 
um, x86 okay close okay and let's see if it helps it helps so that's basically all uh, to the tutorial I hope it can help you to implement some new features to your code and don't forget to check my channel once again later